Okay, crippling video um, update. Um, just to share a couple things. Maybe a couple, yeah, a couple. I'd say at least two things um, about the washer. Um, so I had already did one, which I wanted to do towels, but I didn't get it. I wasn't prepared to do towels to show how many towels would go in there. But while I was doing that first one and waiting, it actually flooded my um, my tube. The well, the hose actually came out of the um, came out of the the tub. It came away from the tub and then started flooding the bathroom. So I had to use towels, which I don't like to do because I really want to use towels on the floor that I'm gonna put on my body. But I had to make it quick. So um, so I'm gonna do the towels instead. So let me turn it on and show the first. Thing. Let me go slow because the last time I messed up and didn't get to do it. But oh, I need to turn the water on, which it was already on. First place. And I'm using the same setup as before in the bathroom. I did have it in my, um, I did have it in my kitchen, but um, I had to get a new faucet. And then, so this connector on the, um, on the, from the washer would not fit um my the one in the kitchen and so um i had to switch it back to the bathroom which i have to do all this running running this to the sink and then i have to have an extension cord for the plug outlet and then i have to have the hose which you know you know i guess you have trouble with a lot of things you do so let me just go ahead and start okay so i start it and i'm going to go to program three and then i'm going to do the water level at eight Okay, so I see I did water level eight, and I will start the machine. So it starts already, the machine starts, right? And I, I did water level eight, so when you go back to water level, oh my goodness. See, I didn't do that before. It would always go back to six, and I'd have to stop, pause it, and then go at level eight. So it's not showing it now, and I mean, this would happen all the time. So that's one thing, it's not a big deal, it's just as long as you remember to, to, to start it and then do the water level and then pause it and then go back and make sure that the water level at the water level that you want. And I've done like water level one, you know, and two and three and four and all that, but um, it would always be a higher water level than what um, I expected. So, but other than that, it does good, as long as it does go up to eight. Because he wants to wash a small wash and let's wash and um, um, wipe or something. So that was the only problem. Um, I may try to come back at the end. I'll do another uh, video maybe and see if that works again so you can see what um, I'm talking about with that. But the next thing is going to be the draining. Um, hold on, let me do the towels. Okay, so for, for this, you can do, um, for me, I do one big towel because this is like my son's six, six, like six, three, six, four, six, five, he got his tall, and then he's, you know, good size. And so he has big towels. So when I do the washer, I do one big towel, and then I do oops, two regular towels, like towels from like Walmart, and just a regular size, the teeth one. And then I do, um, I do two of those. But then if I'm just washing these regular towels on their own, I'll do, um, I have gloves on because of the, uh, the water and the you know, the floor and stuff. But um, when I'm doing regular, I do uh, four, four of those regular towels in there and that works good. And then also I'll add to, I'm gonna do the Magic Chef dryer because I did wanna say something about that. So I've had this since October of last year, I believe. I think it's been a year that I've had it and um, so far, that's the only problem is the water level. And then, as far as draining, um, sometimes it drains. I don't know if the pump is going out because I have, like, just like I just said, it flooded. And sometimes, like twice, I think, once or twice, but one time when it actually stopped draining, I actually um, forgot to place this hose, the hose that goes right here. It hits right here. And then you take it off the hook and then put it to where you want to. But I forgot to even take it off the hook. So the water just drained all into the machine, I guess. Not all into the machine, but the water drained in there. Got in there. All over my floor. I had to clean it up. And um, I, uh, 
so it wouldn't drain. It had that uh, error. I don't know if it was error three or error, error two, but it had that on there. And I, um, so I took the, so I knew the pump had messed up, but I took the pump out, bought a new pump from, um, from Amazon. It was hard to find the pump uh, on Amazon, but I did find it. And I didn't, you know, I didn't find exactly what the pump instructions were showing on the pump, actual pump in the washer. But it was easy to pull the, the pump out. I just put it, the uh, washed up on my um, my desk and opened up the back, and then I was able to um, unscrew a couple screws and then pull the pump out. Well, I put the new pump in when I got it, which was in like twenty two dollars, twenty four dollars. I put the new pump in. I don't know you see, but I put the new pump in and. Um, it worked good. I mean, it was like, seemed like it worked good, but I felt like it, because it, it was making a noise that I didn't hear before. So I kind of felt like it was um, a little too strong for the machine. And so I had the machine open, you know, I hadn't used it and I hadn't used the pump or nothing for like a week or maybe even over a week. Well, then I decided to, to um, I decided to see if the old pump, you know, like to, to use the wires with a battery to see if it would work. So I did that and it, it, uh, it started moving. The, um, what's it called? Whatever, the thing looks like a fan, the blades, there you go. The blades actually started moving on the um, pump. So I said, well, maybe it needed to dry out. So I put it back in the old pump, back in the machine and ran the machine and everything and it did. It actually needed to dry out. So uh, that was the only problem. But what I did do, just in case, was I actually, um, there was a, a, a thing on the, the back of the pump that shows, you know, what kind of pump it is and all that. So I actually just took that off and I just taped it to the back of my machine. Let me see if you can see it. I put it right here. And let me just go in just in case you do have this machine and you can see what kind of pump it means. That's the, that, that was on the pump. That tells what kind of pump it is, the voltage, and all that stuff. Okay. So let me just pause and I'll go to, um, I'll go to the dryer. Okay, so I actually have the dryer going right now. It's the Magic Chef one. I know it's dark in here. I have um, a light, but I can't get it. Um, but, and I have it going, you know, like that. But this one I've had, I want to say two to three years, two, two, maybe three years, I'm not sure. But, um, uh, it takes up a lot of energy. I think I think my because my bill. I was using a lot in the summertime using the air conditioner. My bill was high, but um, I try not to run it as much. I try to do it at night, but right now I need to wash and dry. And so um, sometimes I just actually um, will take my clothes and stuff to the dryer because I'll I'll start this and um, I just started it a minute ago. And there's a little bit of heat coming from it, but I notice it seems like it needs to warm up. Sometimes it'll start warming up right away and it'll start uh, drying. And then sometimes I'll have washed, I mean, I'll have dried and then it won't, um, it'll still feel like it's cool. So um, it seems like it needs to warm up sometimes. And I don't know if it's just a dryer, I don't know. But, um, you know, when I put my stuff in the dryer, I want it to start warming up and I want it to be one cycle. I don't want to have to turn it back around and, get it going again for another hour. I don't want to take two hours to dry something that usually just takes, you know, maybe an hour or 30 minutes, 45 minutes. So, um, I don't know. Maybe it's because it's a portable small dryer. I'm not going to say I wouldn't buy it again because uh, maybe I wouldn't buy it again. Maybe I'd try another dryer. I wouldn't go this one break it and i go buy the same one. I probably would try something different. But, um, I mean, it does work. It does dry. But, it's you know, it's small. Half a load you could put in there or smaller if you want it to dry fast. And that's the Magic Chef dryer. I got it from um, Walmart. And I think it's the 1.5 cubic feet. And I think I paid um, $230, $250 for it. I'm not sure, but I know it wasn't cheap. I'm not sure if I actually paid two something for it. I may have, I'm not sure. I have to check the website, but that's it for the dryer. Okay, so I already um, looked at this. Um, this is the towels they just finished drying or they just finished washing and this is the one thing that I wanted to show about um, sometimes it not draining well and um, so this is the towels but let me show you because it shouldn't do that well it's still soapy I think I put too much soap and I just use that cheap soap so I'm surprised it does that but 
like it can squeeze water out and it shouldn't be like that this happens quite a bit now and then what I do usually um, when that starts happening I don't know if I have to just let it sit or what but for some reason does that and um, I take the hose I can't do it now because it's just me but I take the hose from there and I pull it all the way out and lay it like flat like as if it was just um, draining out on the floor but I have a bucket that I, um, I use to let it just start draining into because it seems like it does that and it starts pumping the water out and then I put it back into the um, it seemed I don't know if the pump was not working good but it does that and then it um, it um, and then it's the clothes or the towels are dry you know are they're they're um, what the heck am I trying to say? They are uh, rung out good. Thank you. They are run out good um, when I do that. So um, what I do, since it's like that, I'm not going to even try to do all the whole um, hose thing. But when it's not rung out good, I just do, because there's an extra cycle on here for um, a spin cycle only. So you can go to seven and start and then it starts draining and it should, you should I mean it when I first got it and I would do the spin cycle extra spin cycle it and I don't I'm not a fan of that noise either I just I don't know but it's always kind of been that noise but um, <clears throat> it's when I first got it and it would drain out it would do the, the um, spin cycle the water would flush and pump out the, uh, the, the hose but it's not doing that so that's how, I don't know if it's the pump. Well, okay, it's gotta be the pump, but um, yeah. So that's my only other problem is that, um, yeah, so my only problem is just the, the water level thing and the pump. And I'm still gonna try to come back into the water level uh, before I post this video. So you can at least see what I'm talking about. Okay, see it's not pumping, it's not pumping out. It should just pump the water straight out quickly. And then another thing, if you see my hose, it's dark. I don't know if it was because clothes that I washed, like, you know, jeans or whatever. And um, I would try to do the bleach, I would try to do the white cycle, the whites, and get, you know, clean the hose so it didn't look like that. But um, I guess it just stains, there's nothing in it, it just stains, but um, yeah. So I'll try to come back and, um, and show the part with the, uh, um, the water level okay okay I think I didn't mess up this time I'm gonna start do the water level at 8 and my program at 1, 2, 3 and start okay so I started I did water level we all seen that and then I'm gonna go back to the water level and see it's at 6 and that happens all the time. Um, I don't know what happened another time. But, oh, but well, so I guess I can't say all the time. But it does happen 99.9% uh, .9 of the time. I have to go back. And so what I do is I just pause. And then do the water level to 8. And then start it again. And then the water level to 8. So it's not a bad thing. Um, I just have to say... Um, as far as buying this again, because I paid three thirty for it, um, I heard that it's cheaper now. Somebody put that in the um, comments on one of my videos that it was on Amazon or Home Depot or somewhere for like one ninety eight or something. I don't know. You have to search it. But um, for the price of three thirty, would I buy it again? Um, with the little problems I have, I, I would probably search for somewhere else because there are. Uh, something else because there are other ones that are in that price range so you know that may not have those little mishaps that really aren't a big issue but um, I mean I am still satisfied with it I wouldn't you know I wouldn't just say it's a total loss but um, I mean it runs it washes good uh, I know what to do to fix any problems that I have so um, uh, it's not something that I have that um, I can't use it. You know, I use it all the time. I still use it. The only reason I don't use it almost every other day is because of the uh, electricity. Um, I don't know how much this one drains, but I know the dryer drains a lot. 
and I hang up, you know, I sweats and stuff that dries fast. I do hang it up my work clothes, my scrubs. I hang those up. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure if there's anything else, but that's just all that I really pretty much had to say. Thank you. I'm just going to push that down, but there was one more thing I had to uh, add. I wanted to add, um, this is stuff that I'm going to hang up, is that because of the problems that I've had, like sometimes um, the hose falling out onto the water, onto the floor, and then um, this back part right here, um, like a couple times, I guess it wasn't treaded right, like with the screw it in, and it would be slowly like spissing water out, and um, you have to make sure that that's connected correctly. And um, another warning is just that I would not leave this uh, unattended. I wouldn't, um, you know, wash, set the wash, and then go out to the store or go outside or. I wouldn't do anything if you weren't in the house because um, the hose can fall out of where it's at and then flood everything. And then on top of that, um, even if you're not going to wash and you leave it and you go somewhere, I would make sure that you turn the faucet off, the faucet water, so make sure that's not leaking because this part right here, you don't know if that'll mess up. And I don't know, the pressure builds up and it'll push that off because that's happened to me before too. So I would just not, that's one thing I would not do is leave the washer um, running while you're gone because it's you know the portable washer a regular washer I'm sure you can do that but this one I wouldn't leave running while you're gone I wouldn't leave the water faucet I wouldn't leave that turned on and I would just make sure everything is secure so you don't have to come back to a mess to a flood because that is so irritating is for the water to be everywhere and then you don't want the water to um, you know the hose or something water to drain into the back of your um, machine and mess up because the electrical part i did notice the electrical part is close to the, the electrical part is close to the back of the machine so the vent parts the slats part with it you know the slats part that water may get into there so i just wouldn't leave it unattended and just make sure you know you just be careful because you don't want to invest in something and then you know mess it up all right thank you Okay, so sorry, this video is going to be late. I don't like to show myself in the video. So um, it's five in the morning, I'm at the church. But um, so I wanted to say and add to the end of this video, I didn't want to post the update without, um, without uh, adding about the dryer. Um, the dryer, the Magic Chef dryer, I said that it didn't dry the clothes, but I think I kind of knew this in the beginning i think i knew that um you couldn't fill it up and i think that's what i've been doing for some reason i just got probably impatient and started um and started uh wanting to dry the clothes and then just adding more clothes so but if you put a little because so what after the video i just i realized that and i started just adding a little bit of clothes i can't describe right now but I'm, i'd say like maybe um three to four shirts maybe two or three pair of sweats sweats and actually sweats dry good in there and fast but I've been drying with less clothes and it's been drying a lot faster and I've been using the dryer um, you know less than what I was I would put a whole load in there not a whole load but I put you know I would load it up like halfway and then it would take like I'd have to keep turning it for like two two to different try three different tries but now I could just turn it all the way and then um, dry those clothes and then it still have some some left time left on it and I can dry another uh, small load so for the magic chef forgive me I didn't mean to um, give that bad review but it actually does work you just can't overload it you just can't overload it and it's not you know it's not for drying all your clothes I guess so I take my stuff to the dryer most of the time now because it does make your bill high but um, I would use the dryer if you really need to you know if you really have to and you know if it's like one person you know or if you're drying baby clothes or something like that you know but not to dry a household with four and five people in it because you're gonna have a high electricity bill it would just be better to take it to the dryer which is what I've been doing like with my towels or um, you know just uh, I'll put my underwear and socks in there sometimes you know but I just wouldn't do too much with the dryer but it is a good dryer it still dries good you just cannot overload it so thank you and sorry if the videos weren't um weren't perfect i was trying but i, I that's
that's what I was trying not to, uh, that's what took me so long to post it because I didn't know for sure how good I did the video. But thank you.